what were your expectations for the year? I mean, you weren't, my understanding is you weren't even supposed to, you were supposed to be a utility guy this year, right? Were you supposed to be a regular starter and, and then all of a sudden you're in the lineup and they can't take you out? Is that pretty much how things happened this season? Well, um, no one, when the season starts, you never know who's going to start and who's not going to start. The starting lineup on game one isn't going to be the starting lineup on the last game of the year. Mm -hmm. um, I knew that if I hit, into my defense would take care of itself. But I knew if I hit, I'd be in the starting lineup every day. So um, I just worried about, especially in the inner squads leading up to the season, I just worried about having good at-bats and uh, show the coaches that I can do, I can hold my own out there. Well, uh, the streak definitely means a lot to me. Number one thing, though, on the year is uh, winning games. And uh, right now we're kind of um, not playing, like, like we're playing good ball, but we're just very inconsistent right now. Just got to start playing better together as a team and uh, hope we take off now here at the end of the year. It takes a lot of skill, it takes a lot of luck, it takes a lot of baseball gods being over FIU or wherever we're playing on the road, I think, sometimes too. We've always known since the time that we recruited him that, that Garrett Whittles is very much of a team guy. I'm telling you. If it came down to getting a hit in the ninth inning this Friday night against South Alabama or any time this weekend or any time the rest of the year, for him getting a hit or us winning a game, he would pick us winning the game every single time. What's the difference between this year and last year? You know, have you taken a different approach towards the other? Um, a lot of it's mental more. Uh, I've definitely always had the, and I believe I always had the physical capability of doing it. And uh, definitely working with the assistant coaches a lot, like Coach Allen, Coach Thomas, Coach Gutierrez, uh, and definitely head coach Turtle Thomas on my hitting, just like changing a couple little things up. But uh, mentally, definitely uh, a couple people have helped me just uh, really not to like sweat the little things, but to more um, uh, just take an approach to each at bat and just worry about hitting the ball hard and not really worrying about the outcome. And uh, the outcomes will come, like hits will come eventually. I had a motto coming into the year, long hair, don't care, don't don't sweat the little things, just uh, go out there and play ball. And uh, just like after I got to like maybe 15, 20 games, I'm like, I'm not cutting my hair until uh, I don't uh, get into a hit, uh, until the history stops.